Hello, Internet. This is Sam Messman from We Make Movies here. And just a quick uh, ethics statement here, which is that while I wasn't paid by Noise Industries to do this, I did receive a few plug-in packages uh, that they licensed to me for this. Um, however, uh, basically anything that I cover in here, I use on my personal projects and on my clients' projects, and I have absolutely no problem fully endorsing all of the plugins that I've included here. Anyway, the first thing you want to do is go to the Noise Industry website, which is noiseindustries.com slash fxfactory. Uh, what you want to do is click on the Download FX Factory button from the main page there, and it's going to download the software, and then uh, once it's done downloading, you're going to want to open it up. And as you can see, some are highlighted and some are grayed out. And if they're grayed out, it means that they're not currently installed and won't show up in Final Cut. When we go into the preferences, we'll go a little deeper into that. So you can see there's little uh, check mark boxes next to them. These are the ones that I have installed personally. And uh, these are the ones that I use and show up in Final Cut. And all you need to do to enable them is click the checkbox and they'll come into Final Cut. Also, when you go into rendering, um, you want to check your limit resolution size. I leave mine at 8K because I do a lot of red work and if I don't have it set there, it's hard for me to work with epic footage. But you can basically render at any resolution. That setting's basically there to protect slower computers, so if you have a slower machine, you may want to set it a little bit lower. Um, Anyway, let's go ahead, enough of all this, let's get into Final Cut and go ahead and get started. So what I'll be showing you here is Ripple Training's callouts. Uh, if you're wondering how I've been doing all of those pointers and magnifications and stuff, I've been doing it with this series of plugins that Ripple Training designed and they're really easy and really intuitive to use. So let me give you a quick demo. Basically the first thing I'm going to do is let's add a magnification to this project here and uh, I'm going to extend that out and then to get it to come up all you need to do is click on it and you'll see that little anchor point in the center that you can drag up. I'm going to drag that so that the end is centered. But the problem is that I need to have the magnification for this go down a little bit so that I can see this a little better. So I just drag the magnification slider and get the end centered to where I want. Now I'm going to adjust the ring and the border so that it is a little more pleasing to the eye and I simply drag the anchor point done. I'm going to turn off the blur background because I want to see the thumbs up and that's it. That's all there is to it. Couldn't be easier. And next I'm going to add a little pointer just to give a little emphasis to what we just magnified and these are incredibly easy to use as well. Um, as you see, you have the option to have some text on there. We're going to delete the text uh, in this example. And now I'm going to change the shape of the arrow by dragging that endpoint in. And I'm going to drag it down to rotate the arrow. And now I'm going to move it over with that middle control point there. And as you can see, we're now pointing at ripple callouts with an arrow. It took about 10 seconds. Um, Lastly, we're going to add a checkbox and finish this up. Uh, a little green checkbox that's going to go uh, to complete the animation. And this is incredibly easy to use as well. You'll see it appear in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to drag that control point to reposition it. And now I'm going to change the size and reposition it again to the bottom right hand corner. I'm also going to delete this text because we don't need that either and let's switch back over to the title pane and let's increase the scale of the checkbox um, to get it to a size that we want and now let's go ahead and reposition it to the bottom right hand corner uh, and that seems about right let's move the y axis down and there we go now let's quickly change the color over to a green checkbox and as you can see like the other plugins this pretty much couldn't be easier so finally let's go ahead and play back the animation and there's our magnification our arrow and our green checkbox they all fade up and on pretty seamlessly and we are done 
And if you watch this and it all went totally over your head or you just don't feel like doing it, well, this is what I do for a living, so feel free to hire me either to consult on your movie or to finish your film for you if that's what you need. So, if you want to get in touch, just drop me an email over at sam at wemakemovies.org. And lastly, if you're wondering what this whole We Make Movies thing is, check us out over at wemakemovies.org. Or if you live in L.A. or Toronto, sign up for our newsletter and then come to one of our events. I'll see you guys next time. And cut! Cut!